Looking for the best red dot for your pistol? We cover the most popular models and their pros and cons, slide compatibility, and bang for the buckness. Trijicon RMR Type 2. This is the gold standard for red dots, the king daddy, the Mack truck, the black hole in your wallet. Without question, Trijicon's RMR Type 2 is the best on the market right now. Due to the design of the housing, nothing is stronger. Their electronics are also top-notch. If you have the cash to drop on it, getting an RMR is the clear choice. There are a couple dozen different variants of the Type 2 to pick from with various mounting systems and dot sizes. It can be had with 1, 3.25, or 6.5 MOA dots. The unit has minimal optical distortion, 8 brightness settings to pick from, and a 4-year runtime from a CR2032 battery. If desired, the sight can be set to an automatic mode that adjusts reticle brightness based on ambient light. If you're looking for a pistol or small arm sight that can do it all, the RMR Type 2 is it. But it might be a little overkill if you're just plinking at the ranges. For that, you can spend a lot less money and get something that is good enough. Burris Fast Fire 4 The Burris Fast Fire 4 is the Swiss Army knife of red dot sights. With the push of a button on the right side of the unit's housing, you can cycle through four reticles. Each of these reticles has useful applications. The 3MOA dot is good for precise shot placement and general handgun use. The 11MOA dot is good for bright lighting conditions and should work well for turkey hunters and slug gun hunters. The 11MOA with a circle is good for personal defense and CQB scenarios. And the 3MOA circle with wings can handle close and mid-range shooting. The intensity of these reticles is controlled by a button on the left side of the unit, which has three levels of brightness. The Fast Fire 4 is also the only sight in this roundup that converts from an open to closed emitter design. It comes with an environmental shield that screws onto the back of the unit and encloses the emitter. While this won't make the Fast Fire 4 waterproof against submersion, it will prevent rain, snow, and dirt from clogging the LED. The Fast Fire 4 comes with a cross slot base so you can easily screw it on to a weaver or picatinny pattern mounting surface. With the weather shield installed, the weight of the unit is right at 2 ounces. For less than $400, the Fast Fire 4 packs a ton in its small footprint. The optional weather shield is a bonus, and the increased objective lens on the Fast Fire 4 provides a larger sight window without adding bulk. Crimson Trace CTS-1500 not only is the Crimson Trace CTS-1500 budget-friendly, but it could also win an award as the most idiot-proof ultra-compact red dot sight on the market. The 3MOA dot on the CTS-1500 is a perfect size for general defensive pistol use, and thanks to the unit's polymer frame, it tips the scales at a scant 0.65 ounces, even with the CR2032 battery on board. The CTS-1500 doesn't come with much in the way of bells and whistles, but it does serve its primary function well. The dot auto adjusts to lighting conditions for hassle-free use, and the battery has a published runtime of 20,000 hours. One nice element of the CTS-1500 is the notch cut into the rear of the housing, which allows the shooter to more easily co-witness with their iron sights. This can help with dry fire training while getting used to working with a handgun mounted red dot, and also serves as a useful backup should the sight fail for some reason. It has a J-point RMSC footprint, allowing it to attach to any compatible pistol. Since this is a micro-compact, the dot can be a bit trickier to pick up in the objective lens. But that's the trade-off for its high degree of concealability. Holosun HE509T RD The dual reticle options on the HE509T RD make it a viable option for both pistols and shotguns, and even rifles for that matter. The HE509T is an enclosed emitter in a titanium housing. The titanium has a few benefits, including reduced weight, improved strength when compared to aluminum, and resistance to saltwater corrosion. It has two user-selectable reticle options, a 2MOA dot or a 2MOA dot surrounded by a 32MOA circle with four positioning points, located at 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock. Depressing the dash button for three seconds toggles between the two. When running the circle dot reticle, the HE509T will last for 12,000 hours, while running the dot alone bumps that up to 50,000 hours. 
The site can be operated in two modes, automatic and manual. On automatic, the site adjusts the intensity of the reticle based on ambient lighting conditions, while in manual, the shooter can toggle through 12 levels of brightness, two of which are for night vision. The site uses a CR1632 battery that is in a tray that slides into the right side of the unit and is secured by a single slot head fastener. This allows the battery to be changed without removing it from the firearm. When the battery runs low, the reticle slowly blinks to let you know, which is a nice feature. Despite its titanium housing, the emitter weighs 1.72 ounces, making it one of the heavier in the roundup. The HE509T comes in two versions, with either a red or green reticle. The green bumps the price by about $35. It has its own mounting dimensions, but comes with an RMR pattern plate and an adapter for the Glock MOS system. Vortex Venom The Vortex Venom has been used and abused in the field for years handling anything from competition shooting to tactical training, and it never fails to impress, especially when compared to more expensive reflex sights. It's a solid all-around red dot that works well on handguns, shotguns, AR-15s, and other rifles. The Vortex Venom doesn't bring any fancy technology to the party, but what it does have is a generous window, a crisp 3 or 6 MOA dot that can be adjusted to any of 10 brightness levels, controls that are easy to manipulate, and a solid housing made of aluminum that can take a beating. You can also switch the sight to auto mode, where it adjusts the reticle brightness according to the ambient light. The auto power off feature hits in after about 14 hours of use to save battery. The slot head windage and elevation adjusters are easy to dial in. The sight has 130 MOA of elevation travel on tap and 100 MOA of windage elevation, with each click of the adjusters moving the POI by one MOA. The Venom comes with a reported average 15,000 hours of battery life. One feature that has attracted a lot of shooters to Vortex's products is their generous, no questions asked warranty program. Basically, if you manage to break it, Vortex will replace it. At half the price of a military red dot, Vortex Venom is a bargain. You won't find a better bang for your buck than this. Considering the specs that you're getting, Vortex Venom is easily the best pistol red dot site for the money that you can buy. It's the best entry-level red dot optic for Glock MOS and most other popular mounting systems. Loophole Delta Point Pro When it comes to getting lead on steel and paper quickly, no sight performs better than the Loophole Delta Point Pro. Its large bright dot and exceptional optical clarity make it a no-brainer for this kind of shooting. Like all Loophole Delta Points, this model is wonderfully engineered. I really like the auto-on function so I won't fault its less than stellar button interface. It's one big spongy button in the middle that you have to keep pressing to go up and down in brightness, and hold to turn it off and on, if you're not using auto. The coin slot windage and elevation adjustments have 60 MOA of travel. They adjust in one MOA clicks and give excellent tactile feedback when turned. To harden the sight, Leupold encloses it in a metal shield that wraps over the optic. This bumps the weight to 1.44 ounces, making it one of the heavier open emitter sights in the test. The battery life figures that Leupold gives are much lower than you'll see with other sights, but it's worth keeping the dot brightness to a lower setting or making a point to turn off the sight when not in use to get more from the battery. However, it's top loading, so you won't need to remove your sight and re-zero. Not a lot of custom slides are milled for the Delta Point Pro, but it's ready for the Glock MOS and M&P Core.